So what's going on guys? Welcome back to Carrasco Ranch. My name is Robert. If this is your first time tuning in. So today we're going to be go over, going over a video that is long overdue. Um, the first time I talked about this scope was almost three years ago, um, which is one of the first videos I put out on this channel. Um, so we're going to go over the uh, Thor LT by ATN. It's a thermal scope, obviously, um, and it's a long overdue uh, update video on it. So really quickly, I just want to go over and state that it's been almost three years and I have not had to adjust the scope itself. Um, I do keep it in a case. I'll leave the case. I'll show you guys right now the case. I'll leave the case down in the description. I'll leave, I'll leave the, the rings down in the description as well, as well as the uh, scope for anyone who is interested in checking it out. Um, so starting off with the case, the case is important, especially for those of us who travel to leases or to travel a lot to go hunt. Um, it's going to be important to have a good case. These aren't cheap by any means, but they do the job and they do do the job well. Um, this one, again, this isn't what the video is about, but it is important to for the longevity of the scope, um, especially because they are kind of expensive. So this one does have foam inserts. Let's see if I can get it on the chair here. This thing does have foam inserts and I cut out the little foam pieces to store my clips in. Um, I use 30 round clips and I always have them loaded, ready to go. Um, little Allen wrenches if I ever need to tighten up the rings, but never had to. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like. Like I said, this will be down below as well. So like I said, I haven't had to adjust this scope in about three years since I purchased it or since I put it on. Um, so I do think that a lot of it has to do with how careful I am with it to the case three of the rings. So I'll leave the rings down below. Also see what you, they look like. Um, I know this company makes a couple different others. I have another set of rings on another uh, gun um, that they are just like wing nut twist. They're a lot easier instead of using like a, you need actual tool for these. So I may leave those instead down below. I haven't had any issues with those as well. Um, but I, if I can find these again, I'll leave them down below as well in case you choose these. So yeah, really quickly, again, like I said, I've had this one for almost three years um, and kind of just briefly, this one kind of fits a particular market um, compared to other scopes on the, on the market. There's some that are really, really expensive um, and then there's some that are on the lighter, lighter price point, which is this one, the LT, the Thor LT. Um, it's a good beginner scope. Uh, it's very easy for a beginner because there's a lot of other scopes out there that are a lot more complex and take a little bit more experience to kind of hone in um, how to use them. So this one's a bit, a little bit more user friendly, um, especially if this was my first one, my first thermal. It was really easy, really simple. Um, there's a lot of YouTube videos available online as well for these. Um, so it makes it a little bit easier to follow along because it is such a popular uh, thermal and it is so expensive. It's a little bit more accessible to most people so there's more information on it. Um, so it made it a lot easier for me as well. Um, so like I said, I've had it for three years. I haven't had any issues with it at all. Um, I, the only thing I wish it did have is because I make YouTube videos. I wish it did have the ability to record. But again, they do make another one that does record, but it's at a higher price point, of course. Um, but that's one thing I would change for, from it. So just to go over the battery portion of it, um, so far, it hasn't worn out its battery yet. Um, in the three years that I've had it, it, I can charge it and I can usually hunt with it a full night without it uh, going empty. So that's good. The battery is still really good. Whatever battery it does have inside um, works really, really well. Um, the charger port is like a USB, so you can just plug it into your phone. Uh, just pull out your little block and then plug the wire into the block and plug the, the other end into the uh, scope itself. So they make it pretty simple. Um, it's easy to do and it doesn't take too, too long to charge. Um, and compared to some other scopes, it doesn't take that long, um, but it does hold charge pretty much all night if you are planning on hunting all night. Okay, so now to go over the nuking portion of it. So it does have an auto nuke. So basically it will kind of like, you'll hear it click. It's a real light click. Um, and it'll kind of blink out the screen and then it'll re, re I guess re-magnify, re-zoom in, I'm not really sure how to describe it, but it'll readjust itself. Um, there you go, better word. It'll readjust itself. The only thing I have noticed with it has been, it's taking a little longer to readjust itself to when it, once it nukes. 
compared to when I first got it, it'll, it'll leave like a black screen for about, I would say a second or two. Um, it used to do it pretty instantly. It was, it was like nuke. And then it would within, I don't know, I don't even know how to describe it. It was just so fast. It would just nuke and then come back and then I would be able to see through the scope again. Now it's nuking. It'll stay black for about a second or two. It has a little bit of a pause, which it didn't have before, um, which sometimes gets in the way. Last night I was trying to hunt some hogs and uh, it did that. It, it had like a little two second, I guess, blimp there. Um, kind of threw me off a little bit, but I was able to still use it fine and everything but that's something i have noticed that has occurred over the longevity of the scope um but other than that i don't think anything else with the nuking portion has happened it's been it's been pretty well pretty good so the next thing we're going to go over is actual thermal imaging the images inside the scope itself there's a little component inside the scope that produces the the heat uh the heat visual so this is black or white only it doesn't have color there are some higher end scopes that do have color this is a lower end scope, so it doesn't pr provide color to either black or white. So it's called, it's called uh, white hot is what I have it on right now. So white hot just basically means um, the animal is going to appear white um, compared to the surrounding. Um, anything that is hot, has heat, produces heat, is going to be white. Um, so I haven't had any issues with the actual thermal images, any kind of decreased in color, decreased in grayness, blackness. Um, nothing i haven't had any issues as far as that goes it's still as bright as it was when i first got this thing um yeah so next we're going to go over the actual structural integrity of it um so like i said i haven't had to re-zero this thing in in about three years and so i would say it's built pretty good it has pretty good build quality but could it also be attributed to the case itself so where i hunt it used to be a dirt road and they just redid the road about a year a year ago or so um so back then it was real potholy and it was real bumpy and i would still bring this thing out here um and i did have that case and even then i didn't have to re zoom re-zero this thing in it's always been on point so it really does hold it or it could be attributed to the case i'm not sure on that um, but like i said it's been it's been good it's been holding zero uh, for the past three years haven't had any issues with it so another thing I wanted to talk about was like the glass clarity, the glass quality um, on both ends of the scope. So typically if you get like really cheap um, glass, if you guys have ever used like the little pellet guns and you get like a real cheap $10, $12, $15, $20 scope, sometimes over, the, over time they'll kind of like fog over, get like a little glaze on them. Uh, it's because it's not really good quality glass. So with these... I mean, even with some rifle scopes, I've seen it with some rifle scopes that are on the lower end. Um, they'll get kind of like a hazy glaze to them. I'm not really sure. Um, they just don't have good longevity. With this one, like I said, it's still as clear as when I bought it. Both ends of the scope, it's still really, really clear. Um, the, the visibility is really, really good so far. So it tells me it's been, it's pretty good glass quality. So the next thing I wanted to go over was the button functionality or the toughness, the tough built of these buttons. Um, for anyone who has a lot of electronics, you know that the buttons sometimes go out on electronics. This is no different. This is still, you know, an electronic device. Um, so I'll show you guys right now what it looks like. So it still looks pretty new. Um, it doesn't even look like it's been used, right? Uh, still looks really good. Like I said, I do take care of my stuff. But I don't push the buttons with my fingernails. I push them with the fat portions of the fingers. Um, also, because I just don't want to tear up this stuff as well. Um, but yeah, usually a lot of electronics, they'll start to wear out on the buttons. They'll start to get stuck. Um, they'll start to just tear like the little rubber uh, grommet areas will start to tear or just get really, really worn. Um, or they just won't work at all. I haven't had any issues with the buttons. They still all function. They still all work. They're still as crisp as when I first got them. Um, yeah, and I was more worried about the power button because you have to hold it down for a little while. And I know with previous electronics that I've had, if I have to hold down certain buttons, those will usually wear out first or faster. Um, but that hasn't been the case with this one. Um, everything still works like, I, like day one. So another thing I wanted to go over here was the charging port. Um, I am 
bad with this with my phones i always have to go get my phones replaced with the charging ports um i always have issues with them i don't know why um same here it has a sh it has a charging port but i haven't had any issues with it um what i do like with that cable is which i, I love what atn did with that cable um they made it into like a 90 degree elbow so you can have it plugged in and the cord will be straight down instead of like a, t a typical phone charger it has like the cord sticking straight out this one has a 90 degree elbow on it so i believe that also helps with reducing the pressure you're putting on that port itself because like i said i haven't had any issues also um, what i did notice is that the port is kind of sunk in to the 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 uh the build itself which provides a little bit more stability and uh structure for that cord to hang on the material itself and not so much on the cord and putting a bind on the on the charging port and it's important because if you can't charge this thing you can't use it so uh, i'm glad they thought about the charging port because like i said with my phones i don't know how many phones i've had that have had issues with charging ports um and this one they kind of did it a little bit a little bit sturdier a little bit more rock solid and they kind of put a little more thought into this you can tell um because like i said i haven't had any issues with it it looks stout looks strong and it's uh, worked really good. Overall, guys, I'm really happy with it. Uh, like I said, I've had this thing for three years. Um, I use it, excuse me. Um, and you know, after all the recoil, all the trips, all the hogs, it's still really, really good, really solid. Um, I expect to have this for a lot more years, hopefully. Um, Lord willing, it'll, it'll last me that long. Um, but it's fun, it's a good uh, first time uh, thermal scope to get into it's a great entry level scope um, like I said I haven't had any issues with it it's built pretty solid um, yeah I mean I have nothing to say about it I have nothing bad to say about it other than like I said it is taking a little longer from the nuke to readjust itself um, but again it is three years old but it's not even a big deal because like I said it takes about a second or two um, compared to where it used to take maybe half a second or so um, but yeah that's my quick little update video on it. Like I said, it's a long overdue video. I've had a lot of people ask me about this thing. Um, I've shot more or less about up to 75 yards, maybe approaching 100 yards with this thing. Um, not really further than that, especially at night. Um, but yeah, it's been a pretty solid little scope. Can't complain about it. Hope you all enjoyed this. Hope you all found it useful, helpful, um, if you're looking into getting into this type of uh, thermal. Uh, without further ado, guys, appreciate you guys watching. Until next time, be careful, be good, take care, and God bless. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.